Good morning, everyone, and happy Friday to you all. Thank you for joining me here on Creative Crafting World TV for Elevens is with Hells. Um, how are you all? Are you all suitably refreshed and cooled down by this lovely cool snap that we're having? I'm rather pleased that we've got rid of that horrible, stinky heat wave. I can see a few of you have already joined us. So good morning to Brenda and Kevin and Claire and Dawn and Sue and Elaine and Lisa. Happy Friday. So today we've got some wonderful deals, but before I tempt you, I'll just tell you all about the housekeeping, which is, if you would like to place an order, then do pop over to our website. It's www.creativecraftingworld.co.uk. When you're on the website, you'll see a little purple tab. If you tap that, it'll then take you to our Creative Crafting World TV page. There you will find all the goodies that we have on the show today. So we have got Pastel Daydream, that's our start of the show. It's from Paper Boutique, it's a perfect partners collection and it is absolutely beautiful. It's got to be one of my favourites, this one. We've also got your regular card stocks on there and your card and envelope packs. So if anything takes your fancy, then pop it into your basket. Now postage is applied at checkout. However, if you are spending over £25, then postage will be free. If you haven't already, then do think about joining our club. Membership is £10 a year and we will send you a little something when you join. Also, you'll go straight in at 10% discount. And the gem system that we have in place means that every time you spend, then gems will be added to your account. <clears throat> you can then accrue these and you will get up to the diamond gem level, which means you'll get 20% discount. Also, when you do join, pop your date of birth into the information box. That means that we can then send you a £10 voucher on your birthday. Right then, also, you'll see payment options include debit and MasterCard, and you've also got your PayPal. If you want to use Klarna, that is an option. All the terms and conditions are available on the website to have a little look through. And finally, if you haven't already, then please do subscribe to our YouTube channel here and click the little bell icon. What that will mean is that every time we go live or we post a video, you will get a little information reminder on your device. And I can tell you now that our Kevin's been working really hard uploading videos from our lovely design team who've also been working very hard to bring in more educational content so you're getting inspiration on what to do with all the lovely crafty purchases that you can make okay shall we have a look at today's start of the show as I said perfect partners this is one of my favorites i love the simplicity and the contemporary look so what i am going to do is just pause for a few moments and smile sweetly at the camera while Anch grabs her thumbnail <laughs> okay, shall we dive straight in and have a look? So, Pastel Daydream is normally £29.97 for your three pads. Today, it is just £12. So that means if you are in the club, it'll work out at £10.80. Also available individually. So if you do want the pads individually, I'm going to start off with this one is your medley. Individually, the pads are £5. They're normally £9.99. So in the club, they will be £4.50. So diving straight in, 8x8 in size, uncoated, we've got our perfect medley. So in here you have got a collection of beautiful papers. Look how contemporary these designs are. I love this fine line drawing with just that little hint of colour. And they're proper beautiful pastels in pinks and blues and yellows. And then we've got this plaid. So this is like someone's got a paintbrush and just drawn down the page. So it's not like a perfect ruled line <clears throat> then next we've got the lines with the color over the top now this reminds me a little bit of that 1950s style where you did have the dark line drawings and then that color printed over the top we've got toppers so here you'll see you've got four toppers these will be four by four in size and you've got some words on there so you've got hello from summer happy summer days you've also got your little birdies on there this one is so quick sweet look you've got that look a little ladybird i'm going to lift that up so you can see it look it's just so cute as i said this is one of my favorites you've got another page with the beautiful papers let me lift that up 
look at the design on that. It's almost like it's chalk. It's got that lovely chalky finish to it. And then finally, more sentiment. So here you've got 48 in total on this sheet. You've got six each of these, don't forget. So that means that you're getting very lots of sentiments to be using. We've got thank you, congratulations, get well soon, thinking of you. And they're all colour coordinated to match perfectly through the collection. So this is your perfect medley. And that's everything in that pad. So the whole collection, normally £29.97, today is just £12. In the club that works out at £10.80. And your individual pads, if you want them individually, normally £9.99, today they are £5.450 in the club. To go with the Perfect Medley, we have now got the Perfect Embellishments. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a little naughty frog there. So... Again, 36 sheets, six designs, six of each, in eight by eight, 150 GSM, uncoated, add your inks to it. And then we'll start off with the sentiments. So you'll see you've got best wishes, dearest friend. You've also got your relatives. So you've got mum, sister, son, daughter, husband, granddad, etc. Then you've got your circle toppers. And these are sized perfectly to fit with the inner circle dies on the paper boutique doily dies and also your nesting dies so you could keep them as a square if you want to but if you do want to cut them out into a circle you've got that option as well now i'm seeing that we've got um freezing pictures moving pictures now hopefully it's all going okay it's friday it always does it on a friday we don't know why Next, you've got your paper borders, and these are little snips of the papers, but also you've got some extras in there. So you've got your little dragonfly and ditzy flowers, and you've got this gorgeous border. I love this one so much. You've got the little ladybird and the little buzzy bee. I'm going to be using that one in the first demo. And then we've got the paper panels. So here, cut down the straight lines. One, two, three, four straight away four card toppers if you want to use them for that that would make a beautiful bookmark you've also find your matting and layering's already done and you've got just for you friend birthday wishes and thinking of you are your extra sentiments on there brenda no this isn't on a usb as far as i'm aware then the next one we've got is another set of toppers but you'll see that here we've got these on the diagonal so we've got squares that are in the perfect medley we've got the circles that are in this pad and then you've also got it's not a diamond but it's just a square that's been turned you've got look the little ladybird there on his hand a bunch of flowers another bouquet with the ladybird a jar of flowers another ladybird so you can see that there's a little theme here with these little bugs and it's very, very contemporary and so pretty. And then finally, we've got even more sentiments. So you've got you are special, you are you, sending birthday wishes. You've also got your extended family. So granddaughter, stepdad, sister-in-law, grandson, son-in-law, stepmom. And because these designs are so contemporary, they are perfect for absolutely everybody. And I think once you actually see me using them, you'll realise just how gorgeous they are. Next up, I have got the final pad, which is the solid. So in here, you've got 36 solid papers in six colours. Again, this is 150 GSM. What I'm going to do with this is give it a wiggle to start off with. So you can see all of these colours running through this pad match perfectly with the colours in your paper collection. Look at that. I love that. It's like a graphite grey. So you've got the beautiful blues and the yellows and the pinks. And again, uncoated, add your inks to it, bring your stamps in. You could bob this through an embossing folder and then sand it away so you're revealing the white core. So again, all available individually if you wish. They will cost you £4.50 in the club. However, the best way to get this collection is to buy it all three pads at once. Normally £29.97. Today it is just £12. Of course, if you are in the club, take your 10% off that. It'll bring it down to £10.80. So if you buy them individually, they'll cost you £15. If you buy it as a collection, it's going to cost you £10.80. So what did you do? So who have we got here? Also joining us, we've got Dragon's Den, good morning, please it's cool, so am I. Um, 
Kevin's saying, remember to give the video a like, please. Um, Sharon said, good morning. And Gail and Jane and Brenda, she said, is this on a USB? No, it's not. I don't think so. If it is, then it's escaped my notice. But I'm sure that one of the others on the team will be able to clarify that. But I don't think it is because this was only released, I want to say, last month. It was either May or June this was released, so it's not that long ago. Uh, Pippa say good morning, and Steph, another nice kit that I don't need, but we'll probably buy. <laughs> you see, we're all as bad as each other, aren't we? We really are. So, what else have I got for you? I have got the usual gorgeous cards. So starting off with the Super Smooth Black card, Linda's World of Paper, 100 sheets, 200 GSM, this has got quite a few finger marks on it now, so just ignore that front sheet. Yours will be pristine clean, don't worry. So I'm not wearing black today, so I can actually show you what this looks like. You've got that beautiful black core in there. Now, somebody said to me the other day, why are you always going on about this black card? What's so special? And the simple answer is that I've been crafting for, I think, what is it, about 82 years. I have never found a black card that is this good quality that does absolutely everything that I want it to do. So I can die cut it. I can use it in my electronic cutting machine. I can stamp on it as well. Bring your embossing pads in, gilding floats. You might have seen me using it with... Um, with stick it when I use the gilding floats on that and you can see how perfectly it works. And even if you die cut in something really intricate, it doesn't fall apart. So normally, $17.99 for Linda's Black Card. Today, it is £10. So that is also available on the website. Next up, we've got, I'm not sure if this is getting lighter or I'm getting stronger, but this is colloquially called the brick. It's actually the extra white card. So what is good about the white card? Right, well, first of all, it's 250 GSM, which is a lovely way. You've got 250 sheets here, so you'll see there's a lot of card there to be playing with. Perfect if you want to use it for construction. But unlike most white cards that are super smooth, you can stamp on this. You can add your distress inks. You can flick it with water and it doesn't delaminate. You can also use your coloured pencils, your alcohol markers because it doesn't drink the ink, die cut it. This is my go-to card, as you know. Now, normally, this would be $24.99. Now, that is a really good price for that much card. But we've got it on a special and it is £15. So if you do need to stock up, today is the day. Then we've got the jewel in the crown of our cards, as I always like to call him. The king of the jungle himself, the craft lion brown. So not only are you getting this delightful picture, you will also be getting 50 sheets of 280 GSM craft card. Now, craft card is one of my go-to cards. Did you see me yesterday with Meadow Charm? I was using craft card a lot with Meadow Charm. It's one of those card stocks that just goes with everything. This is beautifully smooth, so you can stamp on it, but it's not too smooth that you can't use it for your mixed media. So normally $7.99 for your craft card for your 50 sheets. Today it is a five pounds. And then finally, everyone's favorite, Woodstock. So this is a carbon balance card and I mentioned it the other day and I'll actually read what the packaging says. It says, by using carbon balance paper for Woodstock, Creative Crafting Worlds has balanced through the World Land Trust the equivalent of 910 kilograms of carbon dioxide. This support will enable the World Land Trust to protect 637 meters squared of critically threatened tropical forest and it's got the issue day and the certificate number. Now, that makes my heart really happy because, you know, as crafters, we do use a lot of card and a lot of paper. <clears throat> so it is nice to know that this has actually been thought about. So here, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got a proper frog. Ignore me just for a second. Put your fingers in your ears. <clears throat> Better. I've got all of these gorgeous colours. So it's 225 GSM and you've got 45 sheets, 15 colours, three of each. And let me just whip through these colours so you can see how delicious they are. That one is a gorgeous colour. That's perfect. If you've got um, 
dies that cut, you know, that are like animal shapes. Like animal fur, that's perfect for. And then, of course, there's my favourite little plum there and the yellow. So that is your woodstock. Now, normally that would be £12.99 today. It is £7.79. Okay. So, you're all really quiet this morning. We've only got a few comments. Shall I do a question of the day? Shall I? Because I haven't done a question of the day for a while. What are you craving? Because at the moment, I am craving something naughty. I could just eat, right at this very moment, northern fish and chips, cooked proper, in fat, not oil, not the southern ones that we get down here, proper northern Yorkshire fish and chips, that's what I could just eat. Um, there is a chippy in Kettering that does good ones, they're not bad, they're not Yorkshire ones obviously. So what are you craving today? What could you just eat? Is it a nice big fat cream cake, or a strawberry tart, or a pan au chocolat. What's Anch craving? Oh, a lot of things. A lot of things. That's probably because Anch has got a nickname, uh, Dustbin. That's what I call her. She literally will eat and eat and eat. I've never seen anyone eat as much as Anch. She can do three pastel donata in one go. She doesn't even flinch and there's not a pick on her. I love food. She loves food. Anyway, shall we do a demo? Have we got any answers? What's everyone craving? Oh, why are you not answering me? I'm being dead nosy, I know. Maybe you're not craving anything. Maybe they're all being really good. Um, have we got any dyes today? I don't know, have we got any dyes today? Have we got number seven? If we have, I've not written it down. Is it on the website? Is it? Bear with a second. You see, I was trying to be organised, Anch, wasn't I? Have I overlooked it? Is number seven this one? It is number seven. Okay, so, um, Anch can feed me the information. On the website, it's saying that we've got these essential nesting dyes on offer. Uh, volume number seven. Okay, 19 99 today, which will work out £18 in the club. So all of the details for those are on the website. So do head on over there. It's creativecraftingworld.co.uk. Let me show you what these are. You've got two squares that fit perfectly onto your 8x8 eight eight cards. But also you can die cut them, score down the middle, making yourself a DL shaped card. And then, of course, you've got these beautiful hexagons. Now, anyone who is a quilter will know that trying to cut out hexagons either with scissors or with a rotary tool can be a little bit of a pain. These will cut out fabric, and I know that because I have tried it, and I've used the scalloped edge one, and that cuts out fabric. And you know when you buy a charm pack and it's been cut out with pinking shears? It's more or less the same. You don't get as much fraying and it's easier to line up when you are making your quilt. So it's worth thinking about if you are in the market to get some nesting dies. Now would be the time because I think they're normally £39.99 today on the website. They are £19.99 in the club, £18. So I'm really sorry if I overlooked that. I, did, I didn't know I, it was on my list. So we might have a little play with those in a bit if we've got time. Okay, so, shall we do a demo? I think I'm pork belly. Pork belly. Would you have that with applesauce and sedge and onion stuffing? Mmm. Oh, you know when you, when you go to like a fair or something, or a, like, um, it happens normally um, when we go to the racing, there's like a hog roast. Oh. And you know when you get the hot bap with all that, pork in it with the oh oh my mouth's watering oh we have got other people right making bacon and eggs right now gail i'm on my way love uh i like it nice and crispy uh pastel daydreams never been on a usb thank you kevin a yorkshire fish cake do you know what yorkshire fish cakes are the absolute best slice the potato slice the fish slice the potato in the batter fried it's a meal in that and then you just stick it in a bread cake Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Dragon's Den, I managed to see some of the Meadow Charm and you look very lovely in coral. Thank you very much. 
Um, it's a little bit brave because, as you know, I do tend to go for boring colours. But that top, it did sing to me because I do love the colours. Um, uh, Oh, uh, you see, Kevin's saying Aunt she's my kind of girl because Kevin apparently does like cake as well. Jane, a pint of Ben and Jerry's chocolate chips cookie dough ice cream. Do you know, I've never tried that. Ice cream's not really my thing. I, if, we, if you've got a choice between an ice cream and an ice lolly, I'll always go for the ice lolly. Uh, Pippa's saying a cream cake. Oh, Kevin's saying he craves attention. Uh, Elaine, no cravings here, sorry. So Elaine's not fancying anything. Brenda, got to be sugar-free for me. Um, I have gone sugar-free and I have been really good with my sugar-free. And to be honest, I've got to the stage now where I really can't tell the difference. Um, I've still got a little bit of sugar in my diet, but not much. I'm trying to be virtuous. I've got to be careful though, because this halo will end up choking me. Uh, chocolate as usual from Dragon's Den. Uh, she's also saying, we all love you here, Kevin. I could just eat a cream cake, which reminds me that I have a cream slice in the fridge. <gasps> Lisa! Oh, a cream slice and a cup of coffee. Could just eat a custard slice right now or two. Do you know, Viv, I have actually done that before. In, I think it's Asda's, you can get a pack of four, and I have actually eaten two in one go, because they are the best. Um, and then we've got, uh, yeah, Kevin's saying he now wants custard slice. Um, right, where's Anch from? Anch is from, have a guess where Anch is from. Her, son, her name is actually spelled A-N-C-H. But have a guess where she's from. Actually, Anch, come here so they can actually see you. Then they can guess. Because... Just from a name, it'd be more difficult. Give him a chance. Is that is our ranch? Hello. Where's she from? That's it. Three, two, one. <laughs> I told her when we first started doing this, I will get you on camera. She's like, no, 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 no. That's twice now. <laughs> yeah. So where is she from? Uh, Amanda, say morning, hells. Good morning, Amanda. I'm just about to do a demo, um, but of course, then because I'm I'm hungry. That's that's the thing. I am hungry because yesterday I was being really lazy um couldn't be bothered to make a salad last night when i got in so i just had a couple of bits of bread and bunged them in the panini press thing with 20 grams of cheese and a tomato so i'm a bit peckish right what i'm going to do this is that strip sheet if you remember that i showed you in the perfect embellishments i want this one here i absolutely love this border i think it's fabulous and because they're all straight lines it makes it really easy to chop them down now what i've done is i've got one of our five by seven landscape folds and for a change this is the way i'm actually going to use it because normally i do that don't i denise is saying hi everyone sorry i'm late that's no worry denise it's nice to see you now, I've taken, do you remember a few weeks ago, we had that gorgeous um, Miri card and I think it was a Splendor Lux card. This is that. And it's fabulous because it's, it's not silver. It's like a graphite colour. And I thought, do you know, that looks lovely with the black in here. It's not too bright. So what I've done is cut a strip. So it's just going to give me a little border. However... What you could do, you know those peel-off stickers you can get that are just long, long, thin strips? You could use those if you want. Or you could go along the edge with an embossing pen and a little bit of silver embossing powder. That would look really nice. So I'm going to line that up where I need it to go. And I don't want it going off the end, so I'm just going to make a little mark with my pencil. I'll straighten that up so it's not wonky. So that's where I need to cut it and that one. And then I'll bring my paper trimmer back in. Lisa's saying, is it the Philippines? Well, no. No. <laughs> and she's saying no. It's exotic. And it's somewhere where I've always wanted to travel to, but I've never actually got there. Is it hot? It is very hot. Very hot. So that's going to go like that. So what I'm going to do is use some tape to stick this down. There we go. And then... Just giving that, that beautiful little border. 
So that is going to fit on there. Now I could bring that right down to the bottom, but I quite like having that little bit of white just showing. So a question of the day, if you've recently joined us, is what are you craving? I am craving proper northern fish and chips and a custard slice um, and one of those strawberry tarts. You know where you've got the custard in the middle and then that lovely syrupy stuff over the top and the fresh cream and the pastry and the, a sausage roll. Because Carla Bagshaw yesterday came into the green room and started singing Hell Sheridan Smells Like Sausage Rolls, which is so untrue. I wish I did, but there you go. So here we have got one, uh, oh, so we've got Sri Lanka and Hawaii. Nope, and nope, <laughs> keep guessing. Here we've got one of those circle um, toppers. And can you see what I've done? I've cut it out. Let me just hold that up so you can see through. Using the centre of one of our doily dies. And this one is from the, I think it's Love and Romance collection, where it's got that lovely chain link around it. Now you could go smaller, so you could cut out that size, and then you could cut out that one as well. But I actually quite like the fact that I've got that grey border in there, because it picks up the mirror card that I've cut out from the next die up. So you can see how you can start bringing in all your other little bits of stash. And let's just stick this down. So a few little bits of tape on the back. And then I'll just bob that onto that die cut. So I've gone clean and simple for this one, folks, which I know it's not something that I often do, but this collection was just asking me to do it because it's so delicate and dainty, unlike myself. But I didn't want to add inks to it because I just think it's so pretty on its own. But of course, because it's uncoated, you could do that if you want to. So a bit of 3D foam on the back. Um, <laughs> right, been doing some scout leader training and needed some respite. Uh, Dominican Republic. No. Nope. Nope. I've been to the Dominican Republic and it was really hot. Um, and yeah, Noblecraft is saying, nice one, Carla. The thing is, Carla Bagshaw came in and went, hell, Sheridan, smells like sausage rolls. And then I needed a sausage roll, but I was a good girl and I didn't get one. Because sausage rolls and crisps, I could actually live on those forever. Right, so you see that little extra bit there? I'm going to use that. Uh, we've got Malaysia and Australia. Nope. nope and nope. It is very exotic where she comes from. Should we give him a clue? No, and I don't see him. Oh, no, you see, Aunt, she's been a meanie. She likes the game. Right, that little bit of the Miri card, I just put a little mark in it there just so I can cut that. Sharon's saying England. What she lives here now. How long have you lived in England? Ten years. Is it 10 years? Because your English is amazing. She came here in 2012 from and I'm not going to tell you where. No, because she's glaring at me. So I'm going to pop that up to the top there and then go in with my scissors. So we're making this little fish tail. <clears throat> there and there. I don't know what's going on today. I've got a proper little froggy. It's been a bit cheeky. So excuse me for coughing and making grunty noises down your ears. I know it's not particularly attractive. Right, so I've got some more 3D foam, which I'm going to place on there. Peel that backing off, and that can go. I'm just make, do you know I had a mad panic then that I've done it upside down? That can go there. And then, remember in the embellishment pad, I showed you the panels with that long strip, and I said, oh, perfect bookmark. Well, these are a couple of the... Um, little sections from there and they've got these cute little birdies so I thought 
that they would make lovely little embellishments. So I'm just going to cut those out. What have we got? Kuala Lumpur. Uh, Kevin's saying very exotic Lincoln. <laughs> you silly. Is it really 11.30 already? Where's the time going? See, Aunt just started giving me time checks because she knows that I just stand here and waffle. <laughs> she has to keep an eye on me because I cannot be trusted. Right, so we're cutting out a little birdies. That one reminds me, I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera. Can you see those colours? There we go. Can you see the colours? That reminds me of those little licorice sweeties we used to get. Little satin cushions that got chewy licorice in the middle and like a crunchy candy on the outside that were all pastel colours. Just me? Okay. <laughs> you see, I told you I'm hungry. I should not come to work when I'm hungry because all I do is think about food. Right. So here's my little birdies. And, oh, what's happened here? I've got all gooey with my glue. There we go. Let's have a tidy up. Pop a little bit of glue there like that. And he can just sit there. And then I've got this one, which can just sit there. So he's saying, don't look now, but Ant, she's just very quickly eating a pastel donata. She's not. <laughs> no, she's saving it for later. Right then, so let's put that in the bin and then just a few little finishing touches to make it look even more pretty. I've got some little silver back gems, which will add that little bit of sparkle. So a few little dots of glue just to make sure that they don't go wobbling when it goes out in the post. And we'll bob those on there. Come here. Come here. It's being cheeky. There, there, and there. Okay, and there we go. So that's my first demo. Have we got any more guesses? Oh, we've got loads of guesses. So what have we got? Um, Sri Lanka, Mauritius, Thailand, Sudan, and Hawaii. One of you has got it correct. But who is it? Does Anch want to say? You've got to give it five minutes. She's keeping you all in suspense there. She's been a little monkey this morning. Right, should we have a tidy up? And have a little recap of what our star of the show is, which is the Pastel Daydreams collection from, let me just hold it up for you, from the Paper Boutique. It's a perfect partners collection. You have got your solids pad, your embellishment pad, and you also have your perfect medley. So in here is pretty much everything that you're going to be need for your card making, scrapbooking, memory books in this would look amazing. I know when I launched this, our Jennifer did actually do a memory book for me and it was fabulous. Um, so normally this would be 29.97. However, today it is just £12. So if you are in the club, it'll work out at £10.80. So that's £10.80 for all of this. So that's 36 and 36 and another 36 is mm, 108. Is it 108? It's a lot. You see, I'm standing up doing, doing brain things again. And do you know what? That never bodes well. I did it the other day. Um, Caroline's saying, oops, late. We'll have to watch from the beginning later. Uh, and Jane's saying, I think Thailand. Okay. Caroline, keep watching now and then just watch the first half hour. Don't go. Don't go. Stay and enjoy the fun. Because the question of the day is, what are you craving, food stuff wise I am craving Yorkshire fish and chips and practically everything that is naughty. I'm not craving a salad because I am sick of salad. 
don't want any more salad. Uh, I've got salad for tea. So we're doing a demo. Salad for tea again. Right, so I have got, I love this size card, six by four card. And what I'm gonna do is score across the middle. So, I shall bring my paper trimmer in and then just score down the middle. And I wanted you all to go, Wow, she's good. She can just eyeball it without actually measuring it. But I'm going to let you into a secret. I did put a little pencil mark there. <laughs> so I didn't have to remember to measure it. So I'm a little cheater. I'm going to fold that over. And then just give that a quick press across. And now I've got a card that will sit like that. So it's going to be like a reverse easel. You could also do it that way so you could stand it up and have that as a fold back or have it like that if you want to but I quite like this quite like it this way so I'm going to do the center to start off with I've got loads of bits and bobs cut out ready to stick but here's the middle so I've used some solids and I've used that gorgeous check pattern that we've got and as I said earlier it looks like someone's tip just tip put the dip of Put the tip of a, I'll put, I've, I've borrowed my teeth off a dog this morning and I'm wearing them in, so no. Um, I will put the tip of a paintbrush into some powder blue paint and then just drew it down the page. That got lost in translation. You'll know what I mean when you get it home and you'll go, ah, oh, that's what she was trying to explain. I wonder if it's hunger that's making my brain not work quickly. Could it be? Could be, couldn't it? So there is the middle of my card, which I'm just going to line up and then stick down. So you've got that gorgeous soft dove grey. Have we got some more comments? Oh, it's Seychelles. Remember not to mention the USB on Monday. Shh, I'm not mentioning the USB on Monday at six o'clock. Um, Amanda, Chinese pork dumplings. Oh, oh. yes, please. Uh, Steph, I wasn't craving anything until you started making suggestions. Now I want them all. Soz. Uh, I never said crave salad, although I am eating a lot of it recently. So am I. It's literally all I'm eating and I'm sick of it. Um, Noble Craft is saying, Kevin is saying his belly is growling at him. Kathy, hi Hells, first time commenting. I'm craving, craving homemade pizza. I only have until tomorrow, I only have to until tomorrow evening. Oh, Kathy. Oh, I'm on my way round because I love, well, I love pizza, but homemade pizza. Is it one of those nice thin ones that you cook on a pizza stone so it's got that nice stone-baked flavour? Please tell me it is because my mouth is actually watering because I could literally live on that. It is so nice. And then just a little bit of tomato and some mozzarella and a bit of basil. Oh, and maybe a few mushrooms, because I do like mushrooms on pizza. Right, there we go. So that is going to make the stopper for when the card's sitting like that. So just a bit of 3D foam, that's that lovely border again. You can see a theme developing here, can't you? And then I've got some of the pattern papers. And I've done them slightly differently. Normally I'd do these two the same, but I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna do them a bit different because this will match that border that's inside. So that can go on there. And then this is going to go in this lower section. And then we'll stick that one down. And my next one here is that lovely paper again, which matches the inside. And this is the cool thing with these designs. They're not too big and not too small. Everything works perfectly because that's only on a small area. But if we have a look on the inside, it's on a larger area. It still works. Jane's saying she loves a good salad. I do as well, but not every day. And I was doing this mammoth task to try and lose a little bit more weight before I go off on holiday. 
Um, and it hasn't really worked, truth be told. Which is a bit disappointing. I, don't, I think I've got to that stage now where I've plateaued, which is a bit of a pain. Right, so we've got some of that gorgeous blue to sit behind this lovely panel. So remember what I was saying about these panels, it looks like the matting and layering is already done. So the grey border there, it looks like that's done. And then I can add that to a little bit more of the grey, which is here. So I can just bob that on there. And then I want to stick that on there, around about there. So what I'm gonna do is fold that over line it up and then just draw a pencil line down there and what that's going to do is just tell me whereabouts to put my adhesive <clears throat> so that's going to sit there and then i can fold that back over and just get that so it's in the middle and stick down and then i know that that's in the right place Ah, there we go. Thank you, Ange. So you can see how that's now sitting and that flows through together and then you've got that that matches that little bit at the bottom. I'm going to come back to the overhead so we can see the rest of it when I finish it. So I've got uh, one of those lovely strip sentiments. It says, happy birthday. And that's going to go on here. So you can see all of, all of these colours just work so perfectly together. And I'm going to do a little fish tile. As you know, I love my little fish tails. I've got some 3D foam, so I'm going to lift that up and give it some depth. A little bit too long, that bit. So we'll just bob that bit in there. So, Anch, are you going to let them know yet? Yeah. Go on then. Where are you from? Oh, they can't hear me. They can't hear you? Okay, okay, Anch is from Thailand. So well done, Lisa, and well done to, who else Jane. said Thailand? Jane. Yeah, so Lisa and Jane, you were both right. Okay, so another one of these gorgeous little birdies. And this is also from the embellishment pad. So this is the, the little friends to those two that are sitting on that other card. And you'll see I've chopped his legs off, not because I'm cruel, but because they're really thin, so they'd look a little bit clunky if you cut them out. You'd have to get them absolutely perfect to cut them out. And the little birdie with a little bit of glue gel, like that, can just sit. Where am I going to sit him? Around about there. He's just sitting there minding his own business. And then I've got another one of those little fishtail banners just to bring in this design and this one and it brings it up here like so. So that is how that's going to, the finished look. Let me, let me just do that for you so there you can see. And then when it opens up, it looked like that. And then you've got that area there where you can write on it. Okay, so that's demo number two. To have a little recap, we have got Pestle Daydreams for you today, which is, as I keep saying, one of my favourites. I love the contemporary feel to it. I love those beautiful ice cream colours that we've got for you. Uh, from Paper Boutique, it's a perfect partner, so you know there are going to be three pads. They're eight by eight in size. I'm going to hold them up and have a quick flick through them, just so you've got an idea what they're going to look like. So this is your perfect medley, your first pad here and just look at these beautiful designs. You've got that check, you've got that gold. Look at the colors on that, it's just so gorgeous. You've got toppers in there, more of the papers, and then of course you've got all of those gorgeous strip designs. You've got six designs, six of each, 36 in total. Available individually, it's normally 9.99 today, it's five pounds. So if you are in the club, that will work out at 4.50 but the whole collection is just £12, so it's normally £29.97. Now, with it being just £12, that means that if you're in the club, it works out at £10.80. So this is your embellishment pad, loads and loads of stuff, and I'm thinking, bring in Linda's black card, bring in some of that lovely craft card. You could use your coloured card stock with this, use your stamps with it. The colours are just so delicate, 
and then I've got the solids. So that was the perfect embellishments. Here are the solids. Again, everything is uncoated and you've got six of each of these. So six colours, six of each. And it just works so beautifully. There we go. So, what time is it? Quarter to, quarter to 12? Where's that gone? Right, who else have we got? Um, I could eat a salad every day. You just need to vary what else you add to the lettuce, tomatoes and cucumber. Right, so I have lettuce, tomato, cucumber and cress because I love cress. So usually a punnet of cress goes on it as well. Um, and some sara lee because I absolutely love that. And then I have ham and because I can't give up bread, I have a couple slices of bread. But tonight I've got smoked peppered mackerel and new potatoes with salad. So I quite, I'm looking forward to that actually. Um, then we've got oven baked pizza on tray. Uh, <gasps> Oven baked on pizza trays, base depends on how the dough turns out, toppings vary, the norm is tomato and cheese, sometimes the barbecue chicken topping. Mm. Oh, Kathy. Oh, I say that made my mouth water, that sounds divine. Elaine's saying, I've changed my mind, now I fancy a ham salad crusty roll. Now you can't go wrong with that, can you? Ham salad baguette or in a crusty cob? Oh, it's just the best. Uh, I could eat a crusty cob, yep. Uh, Kim's saying that sounds nice. Steak chip at a roll with salad. Oh, Amanda, yes, with a little bit of cheese. Like a, what they call it, a Philly cheese, something or other. The kids, I'm not down with the kids. Yeah, it's steak and cheese. Uh, Jane's saying, I haven't done an easel card in an age. Neither have I, so that's why I decided that I was going to... Uh, you'll see quite a few easel cards at the moment because don't forget I did all my prep over the space of two days for all of these shows because I was trying to get ahead of the game because as you know I'm going on holiday and this time next week I'll nearly be there but there you go. Um, hey Hells I'll send you a pizza if you tell us more about Monday's USB. Okay so Monday's USB is USB number 14. <laughs> don't I'm, let I'm not telling <laughs> I'm not going to be bought so easily. Two pizzas. I might consider it. <laughs> I'll tell you about it in a minute. Before I go, I'll tell you about it. Because I know I'm not really supposed to. It's supposed to be a surprise, but... I, I do like to share, don't I? Okay. So I've got some of this paper left over. This is what I call one of my... It's a little scrappy card. Because I've always got bits of paper and stuff left over. And I've got this one. And I thought, you know, I did that card the other day where I did this. And just cut it at a diagonal. Instead of cutting it across, so it'd be... Let me just twist that round. You could do it like that. Okay. Which would look okay. But I actually like that diagonal. Because it just adds that little extra something. And I've got a little strip of black card, which... I'm just going to bob behind so it looks like I've got some layering going on there. But actually, I've used the tiddiest little bit. So it's nice as you're getting towards the end of your kit when you've only got a few bits left to use these things. And it's what I call embracing the white space because you don't need to cut all your papers up and cover every single bit of your card. You can do this and it looks equally as pretty. And I think this style with it being clean and simple actually works really well with the contemporary design. So I'm going to snip that down and now it looks like I've got a proper layer on that. Again, you could use the Linda's Black Card if you wanted to on that. That would look really cool. Um, but I've used the solids from this collection. I'll just add some tape on there. And it's another little card. I've gone a little with this collection. Sometimes the collection demands large cards. But because we've got these tiny little ditzy florals, I think smaller cards really suit it as well. So then I've gone in with my dies and started getting a bit snippy. And I've made some flowers. And literally just pinching the petals gives me that 3D that I want. I've added a little gem into the centre and I've got Sending Big Hugs which is one of those strip sentiments to which I'm just going to add a little bit of that 3D foam. 
because I want that to lift up and be, be proud. Okay, so I've got some glue gel. Now, this is where you can play with your placement. So I could put that there and I think that looks really sweet. And then I could bob that in there. That looks quite nice, doesn't it? Or I could bring it up here and have the sending big hugs there. Or I could have it there. Send in big hugs, send in big hugs. It's entirely up to you. Have a little play around. Right, can you do a video at some point using up scraps? Do you know what I'll do? When I get back from my holiday, I will do um, not the first show because I've already done my prep for that because I'm trying to be organized. But the second or third show back from holiday I will do, this is what you can do with your scraps. And I'll do a couple of demos and then they'll just be on the live forever. Because I'm not very good at doing videos. Uh, I can't keep them short for some reason. It's surprising that, isn't it? You know, because I haven't really got much to say at any point. <laughs> this, is just, this is perfect for me. Standing, talking for an hour. Have we had any other comments? Uh, definitely diagonally, yes, I agree. Um, Steph's saying, we do gift vouchers at work, but no card. Going to make some smaller cards to accommodate them and use up some stash. That's such a good idea. And when you've got collections like this, you know that you can make the gift card holder, you could make the greetings card, you could maybe, if you've got a little bag, you know, the, those little paper bags, you could cover that, you could alter that. So those two little butterflies are going to go on there <coughs> like that. And I'm just going to press those down and stick them in place. <coughs> so I've got... I'm going to put them all together now so you can see them. So there's this one and you can see I'm not using that much of the collection because it kind of speaks for itself. You know, sometimes it is nice to go right over the top and cover every single bit of your card. But other times it is nice to make that change and keep it clean and simple, which is something that I rarely do, as you know. <clears throat> Just adding in that Miri card there. Or like I said, Adding in, if you've got any of those peel-offs, the peel-off strips, they'd work really well on there. Making little embellishments from the embellishment pad. And I'll show you which page I used for that. It is, let me just grab it for you, that one. So you've got those little birdies there. And he, I can move him so he's like looking down a little bit because he's on the glue gel, which weren't a set yet. But I love these two together. I think they look fabulous, don't they? So that's from your perfect embellishments. And of course, that is the easel card that works there. Um, right then, I'm not sure whether I've got anything that's already cut out from those dies. Let's have a little rummage in my bag. Volume seven. So I can show you what they what they look like, at least when they're cut out. So volume seven of the nesting dies is also on the website. So let me show you a few little bits and bobs, things you can do with them. Um, let me grab the dies so you can actually have a look at them. So I've got hexagons, which are always really handy. And hexagon is kind of the crafter's shape, isn't it? So normally these are $39.99. On the website, they're $19.99. But of course, if you're in the club, it works out £18, which is a cracking deal. You have got on here 28 individual dies. So you've got the borders, you've got the corners, you've got um, these little frames, you've also got the squares and of course you've got your nesties. The largest one is 5.8 by 5.8 so that fits perfectly on your 6x6 six six cards. So what I've done with this one, if you can see, this is the largest of those square dies and I've cut two of them and then scored down the back and that has made me a card blank. 
So it's just, it's 19 and a half centimetres is that, so just shy of your um, eight by eight size. Also, it looks like pinking shears, but it, they've got little scallops on them as well, which is really cool. So that's the next layer down. So that could be your mat for that. But the other thing you can do as well is, if I just give that a little pinch and fold that over like that, just so that's in half, and then use a scoreboard, or as ever, I'm using my paper trimmer. Line that up so that's nice and straight. And then just score it. What we can then do is fold that over like so. And then we'll just press that down. So you're actually making like a little DL card which I think is rather cool. So card blanks you can make with them. And let me show you these bits and bobs that I've got here. So this is a card base. So what I've done here is I've got a piece of A4 card, folded it in half, and then used the largest die and hung one edge over it, hung, so it's got like a hinge. Die cut those two together, because it's happy doing that. And then I've die cut some of the black card and made a frame with it. And then what you can do is just start to layer all of these little bits and bobs together. Here's one that I've actually taken a little bite out of the middle. So I've got another little frame there. But these shapes are just fabulous. And you've got the scalloped edge and you've also got that straight edge there as well, which is so cool. So more comments coming in. Have we got... Uh Right, Amanda's saying, thank you. I always struggle what to do when I've loads of bits left over and it's such a waste if I throw them away. I'm exactly the same. And also, what I tend to do is when I have got little bits and bobs, I'll show you, um, where's that bag with all the little bits and bobs? So because I've, d I've done quite a few shows with this collection, I've not got much of it left, but I keep them all in little zippy bags. And all the little bits and bobs that are in here like these little strips of card and paper, I keep them. And these come in so handy, but you can create a patchwork with them, you can die cut them. So, you know, I mean, I haven't got much of this left, to be honest. Might need to get another, maybe. And any little die cuts that I do as well. So I've got all my little die cut bits, they go in a little zippy bag. And it all just stays in there and then I can just keep playing with it. So I used to have a separate bag for all my offcuts of paper, but then I'd forget which one went with what, so I keep them all in, in little baggies together now. Um, but yeah, when I come back off holiday, I'll do a couple of demos so I can show you a couple of different things to do with your scraps. So we've also got um, lovely cards from Kathy. Thank you, enjoy your pizza. Uh, Kevin is saying, please remember to like the video if you haven't already. Do subscribe to the channel and give the little bell icon a push to be the first to know when we upload new stuff or go live again, what he said. Uh, Jane saying, never missed, never really used hexagons when doing a card. I think that might be my challenge to myself this weekend, definitely. I, I find sometimes you do kind of get bogged down with just doing the same old, so you'll do circles and squares. It is nice to do that different shape. I mean, look at that. That would make an absolutely gorgeous card because it stands up. You can have it either way, so it opens. We'll do it that way. Add some flowers to it. Add some of your papers to it. It'd look beautiful. Then we've got Dragon's Den. Smaller hexagons are a lovely way to use up scraps and create patchwork style background. Oh, yes. So the little ones, I've got some here. If Anch could just quickly flick to the overhead, please. Thanking you. Look how cool that is. So you can actually start to make your own little backgrounds just by using these. It does look really cute, doesn't it? Or you could do like a big jazzy flower. There's another one that I've taken a little bite out of that one, but you get the gist. Okay. 
So we're coming up towards the end of the show. I'll just read the last comments. Uh, Brenda saying, great show. Again, Hills, thank you. Thank you for joining me, Brenda. Jane saying, I keep the collection. I print in plastic wallets, so I've got everything in one place, including the odd bits. That's what I do. All my USBs, they all, I've got some A4 zippy bags. So each collection goes into those, and then I just write on the top what it is so I don't get confused. Speaking of USBs, okay. On Monday at... 6 p.m. I'm launching the new one day special um, and it is USB number 14 so that's X1V. Um, six collections on it, they are gorgeous. Um, animal lovers are going to love it, that's all I'm going to say. So if you like your cats and your dogs, you're really going to like this USB. I'm not going to tell you anything else, I'll leave it as a surprise. Check out our social media over the weekend because we will be uploading another sample makers have made some gorgeous samples and I know that because I've unpacked them this morning and they are delightful. So any of our sample makers watching, thank you. They are fabulous. Can't wait to share all of those. Um, in the meantime, just to let you know, I will be back next Wednesday um, and I've got another fabulous collection for you. But if you are interested in buying the Pastel Daydreams today, head on over to the website. It's creativecraftingworld.co.uk. Today is just £12. £12, pounds, I was going to say £12.50. I was going to overcharge you then. It's £12, 11 80 in the club, normally £29.97. We've also got all our card stock on the website as well. Um, we've run out of comments and i think actually probably i need to pause because anch's ears are starting to bend a little bit but from me and anch have a fabulous weekend and thank you so much for joining us and i'll be back on wednesday here for 11s with hells otherwise on create and craft at six on monday bye